So I had a comment on another one of my videos last week about asking how we adjust the weights on our loads once they're actually on the trailer. So I'm sorry it's taking so long to get back to it. It's been kind of a hectic couple weeks. Um, so I filmed this to uh, kind of show you the basics of it. And I uh, hope you all find it informative. Thanks for watching. All right, so if you notice on this trailer, the set of tandems here is all the way to the rear. So for weight distribution, what that does is it shifts all the way forward onto your drive axles. Now this load is light enough that's not really a problem because this load only weighs about 10,000 pounds, but legally most states won't let you run these tires this far back. They want either 40 or 41 feet, depending on the state. And also some states measure that 41 feet here between the two tires and some measured here at the hub. I tend to like to run it at the hub. Loads permitting, I run all my trailers in about the same place. That way they all always handle the same and you know how you're going to turn. Anyway, to slide these tandems, you'll notice there's these holes and these pins here. Hold them in place. There's four of those. Two on the front, two on the back, back there, one on each side. So to slide them, what you do, reach in here, grab this handle, slide it out till it locks. And your pins retracted. Then you just go leave your trailer brakes set, get in the truck, and you back up. Alright, so now that they've slid forward where they roughly need to be, like I said most states require 41 feet, and usually our trucks have a sticker back here to show you where that's at. This one doesn't, so on our trailers, a good rule of thumb is as long as that mud flap bracket is ahead of that seam on the trailer. It'll be about 40 41 feet everything should be fine so then what you do is you get back under here and you just put that back up into place you know see the holes aren't quite lined up for that pin to pop into place so what i'll do is with my trailer brake still set i'll just tug forward a little bit the springs are, or uh, pins are under spring tension so they'll pop back out on their own and lock into place and then all you gotta do is come back check make sure they're all Fully extended and engaged. Come back here and nip. That pin extended. That one's extended as well. The law requires to be out far enough that they're past the little rounded shoulder onto the flat section of the pin. So they are like that, fully engaged. Everything is safe. As well as being able to adjust the position of the tandems under the trailer, you can also adjust the position of your fifth wheel on your truck, which will move your load forward and back on the frame of the truck, which would move your weight off of your drive axles onto your steer axle. And you're kind of limited how much you can move it doing that because you move the trailer too far forward and it starts hitting the back of your truck. And uh, here's how you do that. All right, so. Got this handy little James Bond switch here. Flip this up, flip this switch up. What that does is release the uh, locking pins on your fifth wheel. And, uh, let me get out of the truck and I'll show you what that looks like. So I thought it would be easier to show you how the fifth wheel slides without the trailer on. So when you flip that switch I showed you inside, it activates this ram right here, which pulls. I don't know how we can see them with the glare, but there's two three pins right here pulls those out which allows the fifth wheel here to slide up and back in this track to adjust your weight between your drive wheels here and your steer tires up there right now I got the trailer on it's a little bit easier to see what it's talking about if you move the trailer farther forward you'll start running into a collision uh, risk with your cab extenders here. I'm sure uh, some of y'all have seen the truck driving down there with these things all busted up. And that's what happens. You need to turn and they'll hit. Or if they're real close, you go up and down over a hill and when your trailer flexes, they'll hit up top there. And uh, this is the inside of the load I'm picking up. And this is why sliding your tandems will actually allow you to adjust where the weight sits because of this empty space back here. What you're basically doing is you can back your tandems out from under the weight to rock more of the weight forward, kind of like a balance point in a 
a seesaw or something like that but most loads with any weight to them you don't want to load back past about that line right there in order to give yourself enough room to move the weight around well that's the basics of adjusting weight by sliding the axles around so hope that was informative and uh y'all enjoyed it i really appreciate y'all watching the videos and uh y'all have a good night